there's nothing more important than figuring out your jobs, how profitable they are. But here's the, the sad reality. I've been doing this for nearly 15 years. I know this to be a fact. 95% of business owners do not cost their jobs consistently. There, that, I've said it, they don't do it. Uh, some don't even do it at all. Uh, they have the hope strategy, hoping they're making money, but not knowing whether they are uh, or not. So uh, what that means is there's probably uh, there's around 5% of people who actually do this consistently. And I can tell you one thing for sure, this is a big problem. And those 5% are the people uh, who are successful, are super successful and make great money because they're across this, like they just drill into this stuff uh, hugely. So it's massively important. So today, what are we talking about? We're talking about back costing. And back costing, what does it mean? Well, it's super simple. All it means is you go back and check the profitability of the jobs that you've done to make sure that you made some coin uh, and how much coin you made. Or maybe you didn't make as well. So uh, there is a worksheet for this and I'd love you to grab a copy because it's it's super simple. Uh, it'll help you do this, uh, get your head around it uh, and make sure you do it. So if you want a copy of the worksheet, just write uh, just write back cost in the comments or if you're watching this later, just click the download button and uh, we'll just blast a copy out to you. Uh, we would love to help with you. This is just so important. I just want you to do this and do it consistently because it will literally change your business, make you more profitable, and that can change your life. It's that important. So uh, let's. Uh, I just want to talk about what happens when um, when you don't do this. If you don't do this properly, uh, there is some big problems in your business. And the first, the first one, or the first one really is um, you got no idea what's going on. So I call it flying blind. You are basically running your business with. Uh, you know, black paint over the windscreen and over the rear vision mirror. You've really got no idea whether you're making money or not. And because uh, you, you don't know which jobs are profitable. You may be making money, but you don't know which ones or which clients or which type of work or even which teams or, or tradespeople or techs that you've got uh, are actually you know making the money, and which means you can't make any decisions about what to change. Uh, so... Even if you do a profit and loss every month, you've just got an average profit figure. You haven't got the detail, and the devil is definitely in the detail. So what tends to happen is you make the same mistakes over and over again. And that is massively frustrating. Actually, it's a definition of insanity, doing the same stuff, expecting a different result. Uh, so back costing, it'll stop you going insane. Or actually, it'll it'll highlight the product productivity problems in the business as well. A few years ago, had some clients come onto this business. Uh, they had a plumbing business, uh, reasonable size, like two and a half million dollar revenue, and uh, they had major cash flow problems. Uh, they owed uh, the tax department two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It was very difficult to make wages. Uh, they weren't taking any money out of the business, and frankly, they were just overwhelmed. Had no time. It was a mess, right? And so, first thing we do, as we do with all people we help, is we get into back costing. Uh, this company had a contract with a large group housing company. Uh, for those of you in uh, Australia and New Zealand, you'll know who they are, this is GJ Gardeners, and it was about $700,000 worth of work. We started back costing these jobs. Hey, profit margins on these particular houses were 18 to 20%. That's gross margin, which is not good. Very difficult to make money. What did we find out? 20, 25 trips to site. Wastage, just carnage. Uh, so client immediately is able to figure out, look, we've got some productivity problems here. We're not organized, client's not organized. Uh, change that, get the profit margins up into the mid 30s by actually understanding what's going on. So this is why this is massively important. If you don't do it, you've got no idea what's going on. So you're flying blind. Second thing is, uh, I can tell you 100%, if you're not costing your jobs, you're going to be working way too hard. You'll be doing work on jobs that are not good, for clients that are not good. Um, you'll run short of cash and you don't have the, I guess, the horsepower to actually hire people because you're scared about you know spending money you don't have or you're, you're concerned about maybe getting new equipment or new systems or whatever so you end up working way too hard for people you probably shouldn't be working for doing jobs that aren't great so that's the kind of hidden side of it as well as well as the money but there's a whole big time and stress component as well uh, and uh, you just frankly have less profit and cash than you should because you're not in the details of what jobs are happening and let me tell you making profit uh, you know, in a service business, plumbing, electrical, painting, glazing, tiling, landscaping, whatever. The devil is in the daily details. You need to have a, a really efficient operation on a daily basis. 
and your back costing helps you do that. What happens if you get this right? And what's the opportunity? Well, I think the first thing is, it's kind of the, the flip side of flying blind. You can actually shine a spot, spotlight on what's working and what's you know what's not. You get some some information. That's probably the key thing. You can figure out what's you know what's good and what's not. Uh, what jobs are making money? You know what what we do when we back cost. We actually measure the cost of the job, but not only the cost. We look at the hours. And so when you price, uh, you'll have a target. You'll you'll set an estimate with your with your hours. And let's be honest, team. Right, the the money is made uh, and lost in the labour. And so you may have estimated. 14 hours for a job, and you see it comes in at 18. You got a problem. What happened? You figure it out. Was there, you know, some mistakes, or did you undercook the estimation? Whatever it is, and so you can go back and fix it next time and take some action. So, get a real feel for what's actually happening. Uh, you can figure out what clients are good, <laughs> what types of jobs are not good, uh, and that can make a huge, a huge, huge difference. So you you get the detail you need to make some decisions. So I think that's that's huge. The next thing is, uh, I love this phrase. Can I? It means constant and never-ending improvement. So back costing basically means that you can continually test your jobs, measure them, and keep looking to make improvements. There's always something that can be done, uh, whether it's a new piece of equipment or you know, the way you set your teams up or upskilling your team, whatever it is, organizing better with the subcontractors or contractors, general contractors. So you, you've always got that, that information you know, right at your fingertips to make uh, changes and continually improve the profitability. Or maybe... The back costing just shows you that you need to put your rates up. Maybe your, your hourly, your, your wage rates have gone up and you need to pass that through to the clients. So that's important. And lastly, hey, it's pretty obvious, you're gonna make more profit, more cash, you're gonna have more bang, more buck. Uh, because your individual jobs, you know, they're, they're like the factory that you run. That's where the cash comes from. You make the, you know, send the invoices out as long as you collect the money, uh, that money ends up in your bank account. More money, better, better back costing, Better bank account. Simple as uh, simple as that. Back costing, absolutely critical. Uh, foundation for profitability. And uh, what I'm going to do in a minute is just show you a, a quick worksheet that you can use. Uh, it's a free worksheet. I would love you to have a copy. Uh, it's it's basically called the, the gross profit uh, cheat sheet. It's a back costing sheet. If you want a copy, just put back costing in the comments. Or if you're watching this later, click the link. Click the download link. We will just you know, we'll blast it straight out to you. So before I jump into that though, there's just three sort of ideas that I think are really important when you're doing uh, your back costing. And they're, they're pretty simple uh, as well. So the first one principle, if you like, is this is really all about learning the lessons. If you think of uh, a sports team, uh, whatever sport you like, uh, what do they do? They spend way more time in reviewing the game, video analysis, looking at the stats, uh, meters gained, you know, kicks, runs scored, whatever it is, they look. They spend so much time looking at that because they're looking for feedback. They're looking for those little details that are going to help performance next time. You know, that's that's sport. We're running business, which is like you know, serious business. We're here to make make a profit, make some bang, and have a great lifestyle as well. So it's you know, it's important for us as business owners to do this to really focus on continually learning the lessons. And it's gonna teach us probably a few lessons. So the first one is, uh, you know, is our pricing on point? Are our estimates good? This is how you figure out if you're good at pricing. If you wanna be good at pricing, you have to be great at back costing because that's the feedback me mechanism. That's the first thing. Uh, are we actually costing the jobs as we should be? Are we putting enough margins into our jobs to make what we wanna make? And it's gonna tell us you know, what type of work works really well for us. Because uh, you'll find some types of work aren't very profitable, and some is. Uh, I can remember maybe three or four years ago, I had two uh, clients, one plumber, one electrician, large businesses doing sort of 10 to $12 million in monthly uh, in annual revenue, uh, you know, 60 to 70 team members. Both of these businesses were on their knees with profitability. Uh, we start back costing their work. We figure out that, they do a lot of large commercial projects, uh, big, you know, long, complicated jobs, and the margins on these were just horrendously bad. You know, low twenties, sometimes uh, in the teens. Uh, whereas they had other work, uh, particularly in uh, construction, uh, mid-level construction, and, and some residential construction, which was much better margin. There's a lesson there. You know, they can carry on doing lots of big jobs for show, but there's no dough. Back costing tells you this. 
So that's important. Learn the lessons. Uh, next one is, well, if you're going to do some measuring, you probably want to have some sort of target that you're aiming for. Because otherwise, how do you know whether the profitability is, is kind of good or, or not good? So we want some we want some clear targets to aim for. And my suggestion is uh, just set some targets for different types of work, some gross profit targets. Now, if you're not sure about gross profit, simply it is that it's the profit off the job. It's your, your sell price, less the materials, uh, the labor, and any subcontractors that you use to do the job. So it's just the, the profit off that job. So for instance, you might say for your service and maintenance work, you wanna be 55, 60% plus. You definitely want a higher margin. For your construction, you know, mid-level residential type construction, maybe it's 35 to 45. And, and for large commercial, hey, you wanna be hitting around 30. Uh, and your targets might vary, but those are some benchmarks that could really, you know, they might help you with this. So you need some targets to, to compare against this. That's super, super helpful. So you know whether you're on track. Last one is uh, you gotta ride the winners. So use the information you get from your back costing to figure out what type of work is good, get rid of the stuff that's not, what type of clients are good. You know, you may have you may have 10 builders that you work for and you find that you're making good bang off seven of them but three of them are absolute rubbish. Well, either do something about it, so talk to them about their organization, better systems, etc. maybe put their margins up or you cut them and find some other ones uh, because you'll find 80-20 rule applies, 20% of your clients give you 80% of the headaches and cause 80% of the cash flow problems as well. Uh, so that's uh, super, super helpful. And when you cut them, maybe use your, um, your your back costing information to figure out where to market next. So if you figure out certain type of work is really good for you, go and market for some more of that type of work because the margins will probably be good. And you'll get much better bang for your buck. All right, so uh, back costing, that's what it's about today. It's like something that only 5% of uh, trading business owners do consistently. Uh, if you want to crush your business, this is absolutely fundamental. In fact, I can't understand, honestly, and I know it's really busy sometimes, and I understand that, and, you know, it's difficult uh, when you're knees deep in jobs and clients and all that hassle and stuff happening. But if you think about a game of, of uh, sport, whatever you like to play, football, NFL, basketball, cricket, tennis, rugby league, whatever, AFL, you always want to know the score. Otherwise, what's the point? Well, same in your business, right? So, we want to get this right, we're going to make a whole lot more money, life's going to be a whole lot more fun, and we're going to know, make, you know, have the information to make some good decisions about what's happening uh, with the business. Okay, let's look at the spreadsheet. Uh, you can grab a copy of this in the, uh, in the comments, just write back cost or grab it in the downloads later, it's all good. So this is a really, really simple spreadsheet. Now I know lots of you will have some jobbing systems which should do this for you, which is fine, but actually what I find, Sometimes it's good to just do it manually a few times to really you know, get that learning into your head as well. Uh, so it's super simple. You just do this per job. The spreadsheet's pretty obvious. You'll, I think you'll be able to work it out, no trouble. Uh, but here's how it works. Let's just do a, a quick example. Um, let's say, I don't know. Let, let's say we're re replacing a hot water cylinder. Let's just pretend you're a plumber if you're not. Um, we're replacing a hot water cylinder, mains pressure, like for like, um, doesn't matter too much on the details. Let's say that, um, let's say it's maybe nine hours of work uh, for, for labor and we're gonna pay our guys $38, let's say. Might be, might be a bit different in your situation, but it doesn't really matter, but just for this, this will be, you know, this will be close enough. So let's say, uh, so in the labor, we're gonna put put that in so nine times 38 I think is uh, 342 so we just pop that in there that's our that's our cost now don't worry about apportioning overheads and all that sort of stuff uh, this is really super simple uh, if you do this you're going to be you know 90 percent of the way there it's going to help hugely so our labor cost is is 342 dollars you might have two or three labor units working on a job so you could put some more in there and you can add um, you can add rows into this sheet as well because obviously for some jobs your materials list is going to be like you know super super long doesn't matter uh, just for this purpose this is all good uh, let's say our materials uh, 
look off the top of my head, let's say they're I know, $1,290, including the cylinder and maybe some valves and nuts and sealant and all that sort of stuff that, that you need. Okay. Uh, and hey, we're going to use a Sparky as well. So we're going to pay the Sparky a bit of money. Maybe it's 250 bucks, could be a bit less, whatever, doesn't matter. So <clears throat> our total cost of goods is $1,882, which is simple. And uh, let's say our, you know, what we've sold this for when we did the quote was uh, $3,446, somewhere around there. So what we did, we did the quote and then we did the job and we've gone back and just checked what the costs actually were. And the costs for us were $342, bucks, 1290 bucks for materials and $250 bucks for, uh, for uh, the electrician. And we sold it for, for $356. 3546 uh, Take tax off that. It's like net. So any VAT or GST or whatever, you, you don't put that in there because that, that belongs uh, to the government. You know, we've got our, our special place in the world. We've got to help collect tax, which is a whole other malarkey we won't get into. <clears throat> okay, so pretty simple now. We've got um, we've got our, our, our results. We've got uh, gross profit of 1664 bucks. Our gross margin is 46.9 and our markup is 88.42. There's your results, your back cost of that job. Uh, then you can go and look at, well, you know, what did I what did I estimate on this job? Uh, and where do I need to make some changes? So grab a copy of the spreadsheet, just write back cost in the in the uh, in the in the comments or download it on the on the page and start plugging in some numbers from your jobs because this is honestly it's a it's a transformational skill. It just changes the game when you start doing this. Because you'll start figuring out that some stuff is rubbish and you just need to up your rates or, or change the way you price it. Uh, guys, I uh, appreciate your time. Hope you found this massively helpful. Uh, get in and do it. It is like the top skill. Uh, that, and if, if, if I see a business and they ask for one piece of advice, it's like, hey, back cost every single job, compare it to a margin and adjust things accordingly. Uh, hope you found it helpful, guys. Love bringing you this message. Remember, it's time to be uh, super profitable. It's all in your hands, sir. Uh, to do that, so let's get into it. We'll talk soon. Hey, I hope you liked the video. Check out all the other videos in the channel and like and subscribe.